Hello, this is David Dean, and just thank you to the whole um, Double D Army out there for supporting this channel and all your great comments. And um, I really wanted to get this out because tomorrow is the seventh last day for doing the birthday llamas, but suddenly something appeared in the news. Ragnarok, coming soon, new mythic outlander with a ground shattering ability. Seismic Impact. I have just been loving Outlanders lately. Um, just so much fun moving around the map, gathering, and with their teddies doing damage. So I am looking forward to what this is. But um, just wanted to let you know, that is on its way. And then hopping over, we're going to open up six more of the Birthday Llamas. And hopefully we get something decent out of this. Um, a lot of people are saying the duplicate thing has not been fixed. They are still getting duplicates left and right. And what do we got? All right, Riot Control Hazard. Ah, uh, oh, geez. She is a great hero, but I already have her legendary. And then, oh, was that Ralphie's Revenge? That is really a great sniper rifle. So I'll have to check that out, mainly for doing headshot damage. It has some serious perks for that. Marine Course Marinas, <laughs> Ramirez. Um, great look to her. And then we got a new sword. Come on. Give me something good. What do we got? And I gotta admit, my brain is still kind of fried after doing that soloing Storm Shield um, 10 in Twine Peaks. Um, let's go Outlander. Really doesn't matter. Pathfinder Jess already have her like three or four times. Come on, come on. And Gunblazer Southie. A lot of people have been bragging about that. A lot of people ask me about the lightning pistol when I did my event pistols. So now I will get to chest out both of those. The hero and the pistol. And let's finish this off. And then we can actually go and look at some stats and stuff. Thunderstrike Scorch. Come on, here we go. We got a legendary. We get a choice. Outstanding. Um, vendor tech. Vendor tech. Ah oh, man, um, not a big fan of vendor tech. But we'll go with the pulsar. So we will grab that one. And let's see. That is it. Nope. I was kind of worrying. Pull off a few more on this account. I am starting up another account. Um, this one has really been focused on um, constructors and focusing on tech damage. And the next one's going to be a little bit more spread out, showing off outlanders, soldiers, and ninjas. So, come on. Get me a split. Ooh! Um, vacuum Tomb. Did not want that. Pummeler. I've wanted this one for a while. Um, some people have said it is a really good one. So I wanted to test it out. And this should be the last one here. All right, let me know down below some of the best things you've gotten out of the birthday llamas and things you want to see in the future. And Vendor Tech Blazer. All right, I love these choices. Skull. <laughs> Oh, I took a lot of um, comments about not getting this the first time I was given the chance to, which I was more worried about getting every constructor to try to make sure I got the machinist constructor. But we will grab it this time. I already have, I think, three different um, urban assault soldiers, so it really doesn't make that big of a deal to me. But I know a lot of people, I think it's mainly people coming over from Battle Royale where it is one of the absolute rarest skins get really excited about it. So let's go ahead and take that all off. But Ralphie on that and checking out stats and two sniper rifle, decent stats starting off. Range is only 10,000. I thought it would be larger than that. Um, headshot eliminations cause explosions. That is the perk I want to have on a sniper rifle. I have gotten really good at doing headshot um, kills with a single shot and doing that explosion with this um, ex large um, damage single shot causes, most of the time I can take out two or three of the enemies standing around the target I am sniping. So this is great. Um, Def yeah, I'll probably be leveling that one up. Got to see. Ah, I got a ton of schematic. But they got the new bowler 
um, RPG coming out. If not this week, then probably next week. Um, we have the shotgun. I have had several people, since I use shotguns all the time, tell me they absolutely love this. Um, damage dealt with this weapon snares the target by 30%. Kind of an average sixth perk on here. But we might be able to make it work. And then finally, the lightning pistol. Um, getting five headshots in a row. I hate that perk. That has to be, for me, the um, worst perk out there for the final six perk when it comes to weapons. And like I said, I wasn't too worried about the vendor tech and the pulsar. So let's hop over to heroes. Um, take all that off. And then we got out of this um, Thunderstrike. This one, if you don't know, it has mainly Liker. She is good with her throwing stars, does um, more than average damage. And, but her ability damage increase goes up to 20% and is just great for any hero that focuses on ability damage. Um, riot Control, if I remember right, let's see. I don't recall right offhand. I'm going to have to look them up later. Um, these are just reskins. And then Gunblazer, um, Southie, let's get into him. Oh, hit the wrong button. My bad. Get over to Outlanders. Where did he go? All right. So this guy, and I hate they put the description at the bottom. A combat-focused explorer. Um with upgrades to pistol, shock towers, teddies, and ammo scavenging. Um, so this is the one that came out during the scavenging event. He gets, when he does his loot llama, you'll see it later on, he gets a perk that makes it drop ammo as well as all the regular stuff, which is great. He gets shock tower, which Epic just recently upgraded, making him much, much better. Phasers to kill increase pistol damage by 50% for 4 seconds after phase shift. So you'll be hitting that phase shift a lot. And I forgot phase shift was right up front, which as I said, I love it. They added on now after you do phase shift, you get 3 seconds of increased speed of 30%. And you can really get around a lot faster. Um, increased duration of shock tower, you get your teddy. Um, Eagle Eye, increased critical rating with pistols by 18%. That is huge. This is the ammo fragments um, from the llamas. And extended magazine, increased ammo capacity of pistols by 24%. That actually can be a pretty big perk. In the zone, more pickaxe damage. Increased Teddy's rate of fire by 50%, which basically increases damage by 50%. And then Static Cling. Enemies hit by Shock Tower take an additional 110 of Shock Tower damage every second for 3 seconds. Um, I can see myself really enjoying playing this character. So may have to give him a test, uh, level him up and test run him out. And also a lot of times on my other account, because I did have this hero, I didn't play him all that much. A lot of times when I was out gathering, I would run him in support with um, the Pathfinder. So the Pathfinder is out gathering resources, but when she gets her Loot Llama, with this in support, you get that ammo in the Loot Llama, which is great to have. But there you go. Birthday Llamas, make sure you get them. Rather important news. Once again, Ragnarok, coming soon. So <laughs> this should be awesome. I will definitely be doing a video on this guy. So take care. Have an amazing day.